So Antoine here with Executor Expert and I'm uh, here with Andrew Geisterfer with Mazook Law. And uh, the topics that we're going to discuss now is co-executor. That's always a concern or people sometimes have free executors on one wheel and it's like free cooks in the kitchen. So it's usually a recipe for disaster. But Andrew, why don't you tell us a little bit about the difference between co-executor and contingent executor and, and why you should have them or not have them? Okay, well, a co-executor is when you name two people to be your executor of your estate. And, uh, and that's something that you're allowed to do. So I could name two of my children to be executors. But the danger with that is that those two people have to agree on all things before anything can get done, okay? Uh, and if there's a disagreement, then nothing can get done. And, and the, the estate administration grinds to a halt and that tends to be an instance where legal costs and other costs for the estate start to increase mm -hmm. uh, when, there's an, when there's disagreements. Uh, compare that to a contingency uh, or a contingent executor. That's a situation where Andrew names one child as my, prime, as my first executor. But if that child is unwilling or unable to act as my executor, then I name a contingent person to take the place of the first person, okay? So in my case, I would name a second child uh, to be my executor if I thought that was reasonable. That's right. And um, quite often people are confused and they think they have to be named co-executor to do the work. And, and at the events, I get that questions a lot. And I tell them, you don't need to be on the paper. You can help even if you're not co-executor, contingent is a lot better. And there's also, if you deal with CRA, any documents, if you have co-executors, every executor who is co-executor has to sign those documents. Exactly. And there's, there's other practical reasons. For example, here in Alberta, if one of your executors lives in, uh, in Calgary and one of your executors lives in Fort McMurray and the two of them have to execute documents all the time, yeah. it just becomes a procedural problem uh, and technical problem. Or if one of them moves out of the province, uh, and that wasn't anticipated, that creates even more problems. And these are problems that can be overcome. Um, but from my perspective, I advise my clients, like, let's anticipate some of these problems and then try to not incur those problems and leave that possibility open. So for someone who already has a will that they wrote in the past and they had co-executors because they didn't know any better, how easy it is to make an amendment or a change to that will? Do we have to redo the whole will or can we just add a document that says, I want to change my wishes and, and name one executor and one contingent, for example? How does that work? Well, the short answer is that there's a, a, a document called a codicil. And a codicil is, is a supplement to a will that simply um, ch makes a change to the will. So the change is simple, it's generally inexpensive. Um, my personal practice is uh, that I don't do codicils anymore, uh, mostly because all of my wills are on my computer and it's a, it's a fee question. So I'll just change the will and sign a brand new will with that change okay. and I'll reduce my fee. 